uh, Crowley, producer and senior videographer, Chandler Sorensen, camera operator, Eric Ang, executive producer. That is our very hardworking crew working behind the scenes. We will bring you the broadcast here. Coming up, it'll be the US USUSSA Pride against our home team, the Texas Smokes. Again, Smoke first ever franchise game taken on the Pride who have been around forever today. They own just about every kind of record that you can have in professional women's uh, fast pitch softball. And we are getting ready to throw it to Johnny Baeza, JB, the PA announcer here at the stadium as he will bring us announcements and the player introductions. Softball fans, welcome to the Roberts Family Field here at Concordia University for the inaugural season of the Women's Pro Fast Pitch Softball League and the debut of the Texas Storm. So welcome to the show. At this moment, we'd like to take, at this time, we'd like to take the moment to recognize our veterans and first responders. If you are a veteran and first responder, please rise and be recognized. Thank you. And now, please turn your attention to the field as we announce the players and the starting lineup. First, we'd like to welcome the CSSA Pride of Vieira, Florida. As uh, we'll introduce the, the players first. Number three, Ali Carta. Number six, Ellen Roberts. Number 17, Taylor Ellsworth. Number 24, Jalen Ford. Number 27, Cassidy Shomo. Number 41, Taryn Alvello. Number 52, Ali Bunker. And number 88, Taylor Roby. And now the starting lineup. Batting right field and batting leadoff, number 15, Kayla Kowalik. Batting second and playing second base, number seven, Ali Aguilar. Batting third, the designated player, number 11, Abby Cheek. Batting fourth, catching, number 31, Jordan Rudd, Rudd excuse me. Batting fifth num at shortstop, number 99, Delaney Spalding. First baseman, number 51, Sammy Fagan. In the seventh spot, number two, third baseman, Shelby Pinley. Batting eighth, the center fielder, number 62, Kayla Wedel. Batting ninth, the left fielder, number 18, Kelly Gunnan. And then the circle for the pride, pitching Hope Trotwine. And now for the Texas Smoke. Number one, Jordan Dale. Number five, Elizabeth Mason. Number seven, Lindsey Thomas. Number nine, Alexa DeFeo. Number 21, Alisa Rivera. Number 22, Destiny Brown. Number 35, Kenna Wilkie. Number 36, Autumn Peace. And now your starting lineup, batting leadoff, playing second base, number two, Janae Jefferson. 
Batting second and catching number 27, Savannah Jaquish. Batting third, playing first base, number eight, Bailey Klinger. Batting cleanup, playing left field, Morgan Howe. Batting fifth, playing third base, number 44, Charla Eccles. Batting sixth, playing shortstop, number 30, Madison Grimm. Batting seventh, the designated player, number 31, Samantha Shaw. Batting eighth, the right fielder, number four, Sierra Bryan. And batting ninth, center fielder, number zero, Anna Marie Bruni. And in the circle for the smoke, and the flex player, pitcher, number 17, Shelby Sunseri. And we introduce Chuck Licata, the voice of the Texas smoke, there at home plate. Thank you, JB. Ladies and gentlemen, before I bring out the owners, I want you to re recognize, take that photographic moment of where you are right now. This is the first ever Texas Smoke game in its history. Everything you do today, every piece of merchandise you buy, every hat, every autograph is going to tie into today. So I want you to keep that memorabilia because when five years from now, when we celebrate the fifth year of the Texas Smoke, you're going to come and you're going to bring that memorabilia with you because you were here today. Now, we're going to introduce the people that made this day possible. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask you to stand and give a rousing ovation for the people that brought it, Brandon Phillips and Jane Cargill. I want to come back tomorrow and do this again. Okay. <laughs> we have some great presentations, some honorary presentations. So uh, we'll go back and forth here. Uh, Brandon, if you would, take that beautiful flag and that certificate of appreciation. This is from the Texas Department of Public Safety. It's with great honor and respect we present Brandon and Jade, the Texas flag that flew over the Texas State Capitol on June 13th, just a few days ago, in honor of your commitment and dedication to professional women's softball and its future that right here and now number two the proclamation signed by Kirk Watson mayor city of Austin the Texas Club women's professional fast pitch softball team brings a fierce passion and love for women's sports whereas that's a city government thing whereas Texas smoke Owners Brandon Phillips and Jade Cargill are deeply invested in providing a sports product that creates, inspires, and connects people through sporting activities to enrich our Austin community. June 15th is Texas Smoke opening day signed by the mayor, Kirk Watson. Signed by the governor of the state of Texas, the Texas Smoke Women's Professional Fast Pitch Team in commemoration of the first pitch and of opening day in Austin, Texas, June 15, 2023, signed by Greg Abbott, governor of Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, in Texas, it is Texas Smoke Day! Congratulations to you both, and hopefully you invite me back tomorrow. Okay, now let's go back to JB, Johnny Baeza. Johnny, the PA announcer. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you, Chuck. And now, for those that are able to, please rise as we honor America for the singing of our national anthem. And here to sing our national anthem in this debut is State Trooper Adrian Beals.
whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we rushed were so gallantly streamed Okay, and welcome back to the broadcast. So we're going to bring you Texas Smoke Softball here on WPF-TV. Chuck Licata here with the crew. I want to thank you. The inaugural game here at Concordia University in North Austin. Defense for the Smoke. Morgan Howe in left. Anna Marie Bruni in center. Sierra Bryan in right. Charla Eccles at third, Madison Grimm at short, Janae Jefferson at second, Bailey Klingler at first. Bailey just signed days ago. Savannah Jaquish behind the plate, and Shelby Sinceri on the mound for this first ever Smoke the Women's the Professional Kuala. Softball. Kayla Kowalik, the right fielder, leading off here for the USSA Pride as we get ready for pitch number one of Texas Smoke history.
Stepping in from the left side is Qualic. The first ever pitch to be shown, thrown by Shelby Sinceri from the circle and pitch in and we are underway as that pitch off the plate, ball one to Kayla Kowalik. It'll be Kowalik, Ali Aguilar and Abby Cheek followed by Jordan Rudd, Delaney Spaulding and Sammy Fagan and then Shelby Penley, Kayla Waydell and Kelly Gooden. And swing and a miss there, one and one. Obviously Kowalik a slap hitter up from the left side. I want to thank everybody here with the smoke and the pride for helping us get ready. And that pitch outside, two and one now. To Kayla Kowalik, the right fielder leading off for the U-Triple-S-A pride. First ever game for the Texas Smoke here at Concordia University. Two one pitch, that one a chopper, second base. Jefferson off her back, foot, and with the throw, one down. Jefferson to Klingler in the first out. Recorded by the smoke is a 4-3 ground out, one down. All turf field here at Concordia University. Now batting second baseman, number seven, Ali Aguilar. Ellie Aguilar stepping in. Another slap hitter. Up to the plate. Again, the smoke with a long, long softball history. They have multiple championships in their vaunted history. <laughs> Ellie Aguilar out of Roseville, California, went to the University of Washington. Oh, and we're gonna have a meeting in the circle. So there you go, the first ever meeting in the circle happens at 7.08 p.m. If you're keeping score at home, which of course you wanna do. Had a good time announcing to the fans, Johnny Baeza, JB, the announcer. And you see Aguilar talking to Abby Cheek who stands on deck, Cheek the DP. It's Kowalik, Aguilar, and Cheek, one, two, three. Rudd, Spalding, Fagan, four, five, six. Henley, Waydell, and Gooden, seven, eight, nine. Hope Troutwine on the mound, or excuse me, in the circle. That one ripped deep the right field, and it is gone. First pitch swinging, Ali Aguilar, a home run over the right field fence. And the first hit, the first home run, And quickly, it's 2 nothing. So Aguilar with a first pitch home run. It brings in Qualic, who got on on an infield single. I apologize, I said it was a 4-3. Actually, an infield single. Abby Cheek to the plate. Pitch misses outside, ball one. In there, called strike one and one. Shelby Sinceri, a McNeese State University pitching coach, came from the Smash It Vipers team over here to the Texas Smoke. Nice off speed, but umpire says it missed off the plate, two and one now. Sinceri out of Santa Fe, Texas, went to LSU, Louisiana State University. The pitch in there, called strike, two and two. <laughs> two runs in for the pride here in the top of the first. Welcome to the WPF TV and the Texas Smoke. Ooh, just missed the outside corner. Now it's full count, so we've gone ball, strike, ball, strike, ball. Looking for strike three here for Sinceri. Sinceri, 39 and 24 in her time in the circle for LSU. 263 Ks with a 2.41 ERA. Also hit for the team, 285 average. Overall, 48 home runs, 159 RBI. That one popped to right center field, and that one passed the grasp of a diving Anna Marie Bruni, and that'll be a base hit. So Jordan Rudd to the plate now. Rudd out of Greenwood, Indiana. Went to Northwood High School. And now Tori Tyson, the head coach, into the circle for a meeting with her players. Monique White, the assistant coach, and the pitching coach, 
is Kat Tarvin for the smoke. Again, defense for the Texas Smoke in their first ever game. Morgan Howe in left, Anna Marie Bruni in center, Sierra Bryan in right, Charlotte Eccles at third, Madison Grimm at short, Janae Jefferson at second, Bailey Klingler at first, Savannah Jaquist behind the plate, and Shelby Sinceri working through the first inning here, the top of the first inning. We play seven innings in this league. We have designated players. Pinch hitters, pin, pinch runners, all kinds of fun. You'll see here this season. Pitch inside corner, beautiful pitch there. Straight up fastball, strike one to Jordan Rudd. Abby Cheek on first base. A one pitch inside, one and one. That one down a little bit low. That was the 14th pitch by my count, unofficially for Sinceri. And she works it to the cleanup hitter. That one down low on the carpet, two and one. Thank everybody here at Concordia University welcoming in the, the Texas smoke as well. Off speed, just missed the inside corner. Now three and one, so Rudd was down 0 and one, now at three and one. There's a 3-1, outside ball, full. oh, called strike, wow. A little bit late on that call, makes it a full count out, three and two. I think even Tim was ready to put down a ball for that one. Full count pitch, high ball four. So four up and four on base here, first walk for Sinceri. They've got two hits, including a home run and or three hits. Two runs on three hits so far with a walk now. And Delaney Spalding, the shortstop, to the plate for the Pride. Spalding out of Rancho Cucamonga, California, went to UCLA in college. Takes ball one. Working to the fifth batter here. Game time temperature, you don't need to know. It's just hot. It's Texas. It's June. It's going to be hot, okay? That's all you need to know. Here comes a 1-0 pitch. That one, a little flare out the left center, and they're running on the grab is Morgan Howe. Almost taken cheek at second, but the first out is a F7. That'll bring up Sammy Fagan, the first baseman. Now batting first baseman number 51, Sammy Fagan. Sammy Fagan out of Dunnelton, Florida, is a Tiger, went to the University of Missouri. Up from the left side, Sinceri. That one lofted out the center field. Bruni, a little can of corn there, and it quickly on two pitches, he got two outs. Shelby Penley to the plate now. Bunch of lefties in the lineup. Penley out of Maria Rancho, New Mexico, went to the University of Oklahoma, which obviously the softball team at the University of Oklahoma won its second straight. Oh, wait a minute. And I'm wondering what we got going on here. Penley is at the plate. That is assistant associate head coach Stephanie Seo out talking to the umpire. Kelly Kretschmann, the head coach for the Pride. Stephanie Seo, the associate head coach. And Brandon Duncan, also a, a coach, assistant coach. So I guess they were just checking lineups. Penley steps in. She has teammate Abby Check Cheek at second, teammate Jordan Rudd at first. Ooh, just missed off the outside corner. Ball one to Shelby Penley. That is pitch number 22 of the inning, by my count, unofficially. For Shelby Sinceri, trying to get out of this with no more damage. 
Nice pitch over the plate. One on one to Shelby Penley. Former University of Missouri Tiger at the plate. Again, thanks to our great crew working very hard for you. They've been here all week, culminating in this broadcast. Is that pitch outside, two and one? Here on WPF TV. Website for the smoke, thetexassmoke.com. That one lofted foul on the left side. It will be out of play. Count evens a two and two to Penley. Checking the softball now, Savannah Jaquish. So looking for a quick out here and end this inning. Sinceri in the wind from the circle on the pitch. Outside, three and two now. Kayla Waydell on deck. If you're a Smoke fan, you don't want to see her. See what happens with another payoff pitch here. Here's a three, two. Swing and the miss on the off speed. First strikeout for Sinceri. So they score two runs on three hits, one home run. Ali Aguilar with a two-run blast, and they leave two. At the end of a half inning, it's Pride 2, and Texas Storm coming to the plate here as we'll take a break on the WPF-TV network. WPF TV, bottom of the first. Smoke will set up this lineup. Janae Jefferson leading off, playing second base. Savannah Jaquish at catcher hitting second. Bailey Klingner at first base hitting third. Morgan Howe left field hitting cleanup. Charla Eccles at third hitting fifth. Madison Grimm, the shortstop, hitting sixth. Sam Shaw, the DP, hitting seventh. Sierra Bryan, right fielder, hitting eighth. And Anna Marie Bruni, the center fielder, hitting ninth. As the first ever at bat for the smoke, and that one fouled off by Janae Jefferson, the U University of Texas standout right down the road here, about 20 miles from Concordia University. 2022 World Games gold medal for Janae, who's out of Houston in that series, hit 333 with four RBI and three runs scored. Next pitch on the way inside. One and one, defense for the USSA Pride. Kelly Gooden in left, Kayla Waydell in center, Kayla Kowalik in right. So the all-K outfield for the Pride. Shelby Penley at third, Delaney Spalding at short, Ali Aguilar at second, Sammy Fagan at first. Jordan Rudd behind the plate and Hope Trowine in the circle. And she is a crafty veteran pitcher, been around a long time in pro softball. Two and one to Janae. And that one off the plate, three and one. So looking for the first ever base runner in Texas smoke history. Janae Jefferson with a hitter's count at three and one. That one lofted out the deep left field, back and caught right on the line. Kelly Gooden 
So fly out to seven in the first out recorded. Savannah Jakewish, the catcher to the plate now. Jake wished he was served as an assistant coach. First at Colorado State and then at LSU. 2018 WBSC World Gold 308 average in that WBSC 2018 World Games. Two homers, six RBI. She went four for 13 as she takes ball one. Also, Savannah 2022 Canadian Cup champion team. She batted 545 with three homers, 13 RBI, and 11 runs scored. As that pitch off the plate, now 2-0. In case you're just joining us, welcome to Texas Smoke Softball here on WPF-TV. All turn field here at the beautiful Inset Stadium here at Concordia University in North Texas. That one skied out the center. That'll be way down. Nope, she's going to give away to Ali Aguilar. That one didn't get past the brown turf. So the pop out the second makes it two down. Bailey Klingler now to the plate. The first baseman just signed last week by the Texas Smoke. Bailey Klingler out of Houston, the number two overall pick in the 2023 draft by the Texas Smoke. She Went to the University of Washington. Ball one to Klingler. Batting third here for the smoke. That one, a little chopper. Passes third baseman shortstop and in not in time. And my guess would be an error on that one. We'll get the official score. So cleanup hitter now, Morgan Howe at a University of Akron. She takes ball one, first base runner in smoke history. Howe looking for that first base hit for the club. That one skied on the left side. That'll drift out of play foul. Packed house here. If you caught the pregame ceremonies, you could hear the cheering and a very enthusiastic and excited crowd for women's professional softball here in Texas. Branda Phillips, Jade Cargill, the owners. 1-1 one, one pitch. High and outside, 2-1 and one now to Morgan Howe. A little bit of a cramped press box here. Thanks to everybody here for doing what they do. And as sweaty as I am, these folks have been here all week. So they have put in more than their due time. 2-1 pitch in there. Caught strike two and two to Morgan Howe. Cleanup hitter for the smoke here. Bottom of the first inning. The runner first is Bailey Klingler. Got there on an error with two outs. Howe looking to keep the rally going here on this all-tour field. That one poke foul. So pitch number six of the at-bat coming up. Pitch number 16 of the inning by my count. Coming up for Hope Troutwine. And the sun comes out. Is that one fouled off by Morgan Howe? Morgan Howe, 2019 first team All-American, 2019 All-Pac-12 first team, and 2019 NFCA All-Regional All first team. Also, several All-Conference academic honors. 2-2, poke foul again. Good job by Morgan Howe here. She's going with the pitch. She's not letting anything go outside, and if it is outside, she's trying to punch it over to left field, so good hitting display. By Howe. Another 2-2, two -two. 
inside. Now full count. This will be the ninth pitch of this at bat coming up. Great matchup here. Morgan Howe against Hope Troutwine of the Triple S A Pride. 3 2. That one jacked deep the right field, but it's not going to carry it up right on the line. The catch by Kella Kowalik. So, on three flyouts and an E6, the Smoke get their first ever runner, but they leave it. No runs, no hits, one error, one left on. End of one complete here. It is Pride 2, Smoke nothing, as we'll take a break here on the WPF. TV network. I've been winning every day. It's me and the clock. I've been keeping like a rock. I stand so long. One thing that I always look for is the grip and how good it is. Another thing too is how big the sweet spot is. Just knowing like even if I do get jammed, if I have a big enough sweet spot, I could still possibly get away with something. The mantra sweet spot will give people that extra oomph that they need in the ball. Nothing sounds better than a mantra when you make solid contact with it. You just hear the And we are back here as we get ready for inning number two. It'll be the Pride coming up. They scored two in the first on the two-run home run by Ali Aguilar. By the way, we checked with the official scorer, Mark. And Mark said that was a base hit given to Bailey Klingler. So the first hit in smoke history is now in the books. Bailey Klingler with a two-out single. Now for the Pride, center fielder number 62, Bailey Mark Cooper, our official score for today. Meantime, 8-9-1 coming up for the Pride. Kayla Waydell to the plate, left fielder. I'm sorry, the center fielder, rather. Fouls one off, strike one. For Shelby Sinceri in the first, according to our count, two runs on three hits, no errors, one walk, one strikeout, and 25 pitches. Oh, and one to Waydell here, leading off top of the second inning. That one. Out the left field, Morgan Howe navigating the sun and makes the catch one down. Four in a row retired now by Sinceri. So Kelly Gooden to the plate now. Good out of Seal Beach, California, a UCLA graduate. Takes ball one. Here comes a 1 0. Fouled off. Count 1 1 to Kelly Gooden. Defense remains the same for the smoke. Howe in left, Bruni in center, Bryan in right. Eccles at third, Grimm at short, Jefferson at second, Klingler at first. Jaquish behind the plate. And Sinceri, pitch number three, as that one butted. And Jaquish, quick throw, nice defense there. By the smoke, Jaquish to Klingler. On the two, three, makes it two down. To the plate now, Kayla Kowalik. Kowalik had that infield single that we thought was a four or three. Well, I thought it was a four or three. Everybody else in the booth knew it was a single, so they just didn't tell me, Chaz. That one slap, that's gonna be a hit. That one a easy hit. And going into second is a double. So Qualic now two for two. Second or extra base hit, hit number four for the Pride. Ellie Aguilar. Aguilar to the plate now. Slap the right field home run over the wall on the first pitch she saw in the first inning to give the Pride the 2-0 lead they own right now. 
Second time around the order for the Pride. Pitch on the way, misses inside, ball one. What a pitch, pop foul. And that went over in the VIP section. Count now one and one. Lots of cameras out here. I see the Austin TV stations. Used to live in Austin for 20 years. Here's a 1-1 one, one. outside, 2-1. and one. Jake, which was set up outside, now 2-1. and one. Runner at second is Kowalik with two down. Pride looking for a little two-out magic. Smoke hoping to slam the door here. On a very hot night here in North Austin, Texas. 2-1, outside, 3-1. Only pitch number 10 of this inning, so a little bit more efficiency for Sinceri. Through 25 in the first, giving up the two runs on the three hits. Also walked one. So 3-1, that one galt the deep left center field, back and caught! Oh my goodness, Morgan How do you do? Morgan How Looked like a wide receiver! Going out for a long bomb. No runs, one hit, no errors, and one left on. We'll go to the bottom of the second inning. Little momentum for the smoke as they trail it 2 nothing here on the WPF TV. One thing that I always look for is the grip and how good it is. Another thing too is how big the sweet spot is. Just knowing like even if I do get jammed, if I have a big enough sweet spot, I could still possibly get away with something. The mantra sweet spot will give people that extra oomph that they need in the ball. Nothing sounds better than a mantra when you make solid contact with it. You just hear the The catch by Howe in deep left field. That'll bring up five, six, seven coming up for the smoke here in the bottom of the second. Charlotte Eccles, Madison Grimm, and Sam Shaw trying to get some momentum here. Eccles to the plate, the third baseman. Out of Newman, Georgia, went to Michigan State, Uni Michigan State University and then the University of Florida. She's working on her master's in sports management at the University of Florida. Yeah, she has ball one. Off speed in there, called strike on the outside corner. One and one to Eccles. Gooden, Waydell, and Kowalik left to right in the outfield for the Pride. Henley at third, Spalding at short, Aguilar at second, Fagan at first, Rudd behind the plate, and Troutwine in the circle for inning number two. That one skied on the right side. First baseman Sammy Fagan with the catch, one down. Troutwine, 19 pitches in that first inning, no runs on a hit, and she left one. No walks, no strikeouts, as Madison Grimm, the shortstop to the plate. Maddie Grimm went to Kent State University in Ohio out of Hampstead, Maryland. On that pitch off the plate, ball one. So Troutwine, a veteran of pro softball, has thrown a strike to the first hitter of the game and has thrown a ball on the first pitch to every other hitter since then. 
As that pitch off the plate, now 2-0 to Grimm. All the outs by the smoke so far, four of them have been fly balls. So right, right now, Troutwine keeping the pitches up as that pitch off the plate. Now 3-0 to Grimm. Looking to get on here. Bailey Klinger, a two-out single for the first hit in smoke softball history. And taken all the way in there for called strike one. Three and one to Madison Grimm. On deck is Sam Shaw, the designated player. And so we're going to miss right past her. Three and two now to Madison Grimm. This is the third time that Troutwine has gone three balls to a batter. And that one fouled off. Earlier, earlier she went three and one to Janae Jefferson leading off the first and got her on a fly out. And then Morgan Howe took her to eight pitches before getting a pop out to second base. Pitch number seven of this at bat coming up. Three, two pitch, got her. First strikeout. For Troutwine, two down now. And Sam Shaw, the designated player to the play. Shaw, pitcher, utility player out of Houston. Went to Oklahoma State and Texas A&M. 2019 All-American. She played in the Women's College World Series in 2017 and 2019. Big fan of YouTube and TikTok. I want to know to Shao. Fouled off. Got now one to one to Sam Shao. Sierra Bryan, the right fielder on deck. Professional softball here in Austin, Texas, the Women's Professional Fast Pitch Softball League. One one. That one a tapper to third. Penley over to Fagan, and they get her by a half a step. So it's a one, two, three inning on the five, three. No runs, hits, errors, nobody left. We are through two complete here at Concordia University, the Texas Smoke home. And we have a score of pride two, smoke nothing, as you proudly watch Smoke Softball here on the WPF TV network. As we come back from the top of the third, it'll be Alexa DeFeo in the circle for Coach Tori Tyson and the smoke. DeFeo number nine out of Akron, Ohio, went to the University of Akron. Coming up for the pride here in the top of the third, they lead it to nothing, three, four, five, heart of the order. Abby Cheek, Jordan Rudd, and Delaney Spalding do up. And checking the defense. Looks like everybody is where they're supposed to be. Morgan Howen left. And then Marie Bruni in center. Sierra Bryan in right. Charla Eccles at third. Madison Grimm at short. Janae Jefferson at second. Bailey Klingler at first. Savannah Jaquish behind the plate. And the new pitcher, Alexa DeFeo. And DeFeo's first pitch. Off the plate, ball one. 
So Shelby Sinceri, the starter, goes two innings. That one out to center field, camping under it is Bruni, and the catch made one down. Bring up Jordan Rudd, the catcher. So Sinceri goes two innings, gives up two runs on four hits, no errors behind her, one walk, one strikeout, and 35 pitches unofficially. As Jordan Rudd, who walked her first time up to the plate. Catcher hitting cleanup, looks at ball one. Started this game at 7.05 p.m. That one rocked to left field, coming in as Howe. Another great catch! Morgan, how do you do? The sliding catch on the foul line. Two down. So two down now, Delaney Spalding to the plate. She flied out to Howe her first time up. Out the plate, ball one. Did we show a replay on that one? Okay. You saw the replay on that one. Beautiful catch. Is that pitch outside? 2-0. Oh. oh, my goodness. How making the early, early bid for all defensive outfielder. 2-0 pitch. Ooh, wow. Strike 2-1. Says a home plate umpire. Don't argue with blue or black. Umpires wearing black. Got them um, three umpires out on the field tonight. That one outside. Three and one to Delaney Spaulding. Two down, nobody on. Smoke looking for their first ever one, two, three inning defensively. Hmm. And I guess that's called the media jinx because she walked her ball four. Second walk overall for Smoke Pitching. Now batting, number 51, Sammy Fagan. Sammy Fagan out from the left side. She flied out the center her first time up. See that beautiful shot of the left-handed batter from the third base side. Nice pitch in there. Called strike one to Sammy Fagan. That was the 10th pitch of the inning for DeFeo. A one popped on the left side, foul, and into the camera deck over there. And quickly ahead of the count is DeFeo. 0 and two with two down. Right at first base is Spalding, got on in a two out walk. O2 oh, pitch, high one and two. Maybe instead of saying, Morgan, how do you do? Maybe say, Morgan, how do you do it every time? Web gems by 47. Nice block there by Jake, was keeping the runner at first. Count two and two. We play seven innings here in the WPF. Got a chance to talk to Coach Tyson before the game. We'll give you some of that conversation coming up. Is that one top foul? Pitch number six of the bat coming up now to Fagan. You got the third base hover cam right there. And now we go back to the center field camera. 2-2. Two, two. That one to the left side. Eccles across. And the 5-3 ends the inning. So no runs, no hits. One walk, one left on. And of two and a half. Pride continue to lead the smoke two to nothing as we take a break here on WPF TV. Dad, I 
want to be a professional baseball player when I grow up. Dad, I want to be a professional softball player when I grow up. I'm a professional baseball player now. What about my dream? Back here at Concordia University, the home of the Texas Smoke. As we get ready for the bottom of the third, Smoke will set up 8-9-1 coming up against Hope Troutwine, who has gone the first two. 32 pitches by our count, no runs on a hit, no walks in the strikeout. Sierra Bryan to the plate, the right fielder up on the right side. Trying to get something going here. We do have the first hit in smoke history, that a two out single by Klingler in the first. So we're gonna miss there, strike one by C.R. Bryan. Got a chance to talk to Tory Tyson before the game. And I said, so what is the fundamentals of a Tory Tyson softball team? I'll tell you after this pitch, 0-1 pitch. So we're gonna miss 0-1-2. She said, the, the biggest thing I want people to see our girls doing everything fundamentally right. And I want to show them having fun doing it. Meets out the 0-2 pitch outside, little off-speed pitch, one and two now to Bryan. Sierra Bryan out of Lafayette, Louisiana, went to the University of Georgia. 2021, she was the Sun Belt League Player of the Year. Swing and a miss there. Strike three. One down. Center fielder, number eight, Anna Marie Bruni. Center fielder, Anna Marie Bruni to the plate out of Schwanksville, Pennsylvania. Went to the University of South Florida. And she fouls that one off, strike one. Number nine hitter for the smoke. Anna Marie pursuing her nursing degree out of Thomas Jefferson University. And she has already won the Daisy Award for saving the life of an infant. Wow. And fakes the bunt, takes it outside, one to one. So certainly well on her way to that nursing degree. Has a 4.0 grade point average. Trying to keep that up as she gets through her studies at Thomas Jefferson University, which is where, by the way, her mom went and was a player for Thomas Jefferson University. Count now one and two. Playing for the University of South Florida on the all-time USF list. She's number two in stolen bases with 99. Number two with stolen base percentage with an 860% stolen base. Good job by Bernie to get the bat on the ball there. Keeping the count at one and two. Pitch number five of the at-bat coming up. Also at USF, Bernie, number seven with all-time batting average with 351 average. Another foul back to the screen. So Bruni dialed in now on Troutwine. He will throw pitch number six of this at bat. 32 pitches by our count coming into the inning for Troutwine. And that one off the plate. Evens count now two and two to Bruni. Happy to have you on the Texas Smoke Broadcast Network. And that one chopped foul. That is five foul balls in this at bat by Bruni. Pitch number eight of the at bat coming up. Winning. 
Wide the pitch to 2-2, two, two, outside, 3-2. It's all the hot air here. Full count pitch, and that one out the center field, and that's gonna be it for a base hit. Poking away on with the second hit in smoke history. Anna Marie Bruni. You see Bruni at first base there, and Janae Jefferson up from the left side, leadoff hitter. 0 for 1, flight out the left her first time up on five pitches. And nine pitch at bat there for Bruni. And that one poked, oh, just foul. And that was Shelby Penley playing in on Jefferson, looking for the bunt. All turn field except for the pitch, uh, pitching circle, which is dirt. A one, that one stroked out the left. The left fielder calls for it, Kelly Gooden. So two pitch out makes it two down. So Savannah Jaquish out. And we'll have a meeting in the circle. That is Kelly Kretschmann, the head coach of the USSA Pride. Nice lady. Got a good chance to talk to her and Coach Tyson at the same time before the game. Her associate head coach is Stephanie Seo. Also Brandon Duncan in the coaching box. And Stephanie Co is the sister, younger sister of Assistant General Manager Courtney Co, also Director of Operations Penny Four, who was nice enough to give us information about her team. So we appreciate that. Savannah Jakewish now after the meeting in the circle, 0 for one, popped out the second base her first time. That looks a ball one on the outside. Smoke with their second base runner of the game. Bruni at first base. And that one on the corner, one and one now to Jaquish. Jaquish. Go Tigers out of LSU. G E A U X. Go Tigers. That one off the plate, two and one. Didn't know I could spell, did you? See the shot down the line at first base, beautiful shot. You see some of the crowd there as well. Above the dugout for the smoke, because that one's skied. And second baseman calling for it, and the catch made by Ali Aguilar. So the smoke get their second hit, but leave the one with no errors and no runs in the inning. We're through three complete, we play seven here. And at the end of three complete, it is Pride 2, Smoke Nothing here on WPF TV Network.
All right, as we get ready here, a meeting in the circle there. As we get ready for the top of the fourth, Pride continue to lead it two nothing. Good job by the smoke defense and pitching. Boy, a couple outstanding web gems for Morgan Howe. As it'll be 7-8-9 for the Pride coming up. Shelby Penley, the third baseman, followed by Kayla Wydell, the center fielder, and Kelly Gooden, the left fielder. And first pitch in there called strike one. 0-1 no one one to Penley. Alexa DeFeo in her second inning in the circle. That one rocketed deep the center fielder, but Anna Maria Bruni, Bruni rather, with the catch one down. 15 pitches for DeFeo in the third inning. Gave up a walk. After taking over for starter Shelby Sinceri. One down here, Kayla Waydell. She flied out the left fielder first time up. That one stroke foul on the right side, and that's into the parking lot. My car's way in the back, so I don't have to worry about it. Oh, and two now to Waddle. Kayla Waddle. Ooh, <laughs> just missed the corner. One and two now. Fast moving game here at Concordia University. Here's a one two off speed, high. Two and two. That one stroked the right center field. Colin Fort and Sierra Bryan. And the F9 makes it two down. Two down, nobody on, and the number nine hitter, Kelly Gooden to the plate. She bounced out 2-3 her first time up, bunted. Nice job by Savannah Jakewish to get out of her catcher's position and make the throw down to Klingler at first. Ball one to Gooden. Off speed outside, one and one. And Tori Tyson. Oh, thank you. One and one. And umpire headed down the first baseline. To and not sure what this is. I don't see a defensive change anywhere. One on one. I know it wasn't a commercial break. Is that one bunted? And echoes across. And that was Janae Jefferson covering so the 5-4 and the first 1-2-3 defensive inning in smoke history is in the books. No runs, hits, errors, nobody left. End of three and a half. The smoke trail the pride 2-0 here on Smoke Softball on WPF-TV. One thing that I always look for is the grip and how good it is. Another thing too is how big the sweet spot is. Just knowing like even if I do get jammed, if I have a big enough sweet spot, I could still possibly get away with something. The mantra sweet spot will give people that extra oomph that they need in the ball. Nothing sounds better than a mantra when you make solid contact with it. You just hear the
So going to the bottom of the fourth inning now, and Smoke got two hits, the first two hits in club history, but looking to put a run across the board. So to be Keek Bailey Klingler, Morgan Howe, and Chara Eccles, three, four, five, hard of the order up against Hope Troutwine, who has gone three scoreless inning, giving up the two hits and nothing else, just struck out two. And by our count, she's got 51 pitches through three innings. As Klingler in, she had the first ever base hit in smoke history. With a first inning infield single that went to the shortstop. And she looks up 2-0 now to Klingler. That one. Down the third base line, and Klingler's going to be two for two. Another base hit. This one out of the infield. And leadoff runner on for the first time for the smoke. And let's see what Morgan Howe does. Howe with the great defense. Two web gem catches so far. Steps in from the left side as you look at our center field camera there. Squares the butt, pulls the bat back, and ball one. This is so great. I get to see the uh, live feed right here. one 0 is that one top the right side and away from the second baseman. On the way to third is Klingler. And my guess is the second baseman Aguilar had the runner in front of her. Klingler lost sight of the ball. That's got to be an error. Either way, it's first and third, nobody out. So chance to score that coveted first run in team history. Tori Tyson now taking a timeout. And we're going to have a pinch runner coming in is 22, Destiny Brown. Brown will come in to run at first base. So Brown in at first base, number 22. Taking over first base for Howe. So speed on the base pass at third and first. Klingler at third, Brown at first. Here comes Eccles, 0 for 1, popped out to the first baseman the first time up. And a chance to drive in that first run. More importantly, get the smoke on the board. It's only 2-0. Smoke have done a great job of keeping the pride off the scoreboard since the first two batters got a single and a home run. Counting out 2-0 to Eccles. TV cameras out there ready to record this Hoping to record a little bit of history here. 2-0. That one ripped the center field, but right at the center fielder. Tagging up and coming in is Klingler. And the first run of franchise history is a sack fly by Eccles that scores Klingler. It's 2-1. First RBI comes off the bat of Eccles. Brown at first now, two down. And Madison Grimm, who struck out, swinging her first time up to the plate. That one bunted, and pitcher over to first base. So the sacrifice goes 1-3. The second is Brown off the sack by Grimm. And now the tying run in score, scoring position with two down. And that'll bring up Shao, who's 0-1, bounced out 5-3 her first time up. Back out to the center field camera. Shao steps in from the right side. Pitch off the plate, ball one. 
And down to third on the steal. Delayed steal is Brown. So you see now behind her down the third baseline. And that's going to be enough for the pride and Coach Kelly Kretschmann to call a little timeout here. Get our girls to regroup. So the first stolen base in smoke history, you just saw it on the replay, a very delayed steal as Brown read the catcher thrown to the pitcher and then took off and there was no play at third. One of the Yankees runners did that last night to the Mets and a loss to the Mets, Isaiah Kiner Falefa stole home plate when nobody was paying attention to him, and we have a steal third here. 1-0 pitch, and they're called strike 1-1. Pitch number 12 of the inning bar count coming up. One run in, tying run just at third base. That one sky foul, that'll be up over the press box. Count one and two, great job by our crew to get you that first ever steal in smoke history. Here comes a one, two, outside and high. Two and two. Destiny Brown. At third. Sam Shaw with a two, two count and two down. Oh, swing and a miss, strike three. But the first ever run in Smoke history comes in on a sack fly by Eccles that scores Klingler. The Smoke after four, trail it two to one as we take a break here on WPF TV. And we are back here as we get ready for the top of the fifth inning. And DeFeo remains in the circle. She has thrown two scoreless innings. Got the first ever one, two, three defensive inning for the smoke. Through 10 pitches in that one, two, three, fourth inning. 25 pitches by our count through two innings. Number 15, Kayla Kowalik. The golden tones of Johnny Baez, the JB, our PA announcer here. As we go top of the order, one, two, three for the Pride. Kowalik, Aguilar, and Cheek coming up. It was Kowalik and Aguilar that put the Pride on the board. First two batters of the game. Infield hit and home run. And since then, they have been kept scoreless by the smoke pitchers and defense. And she squares the bunt, takes high ball one. Alexa DeFeo, inning number three for her in relief of the starter, Shelby Sanceri. Hal, Bruni, and Brian left to right in the outfield. That one popped on the left side. That'll be out of play. Count one and one. Here's the 1-1. One, one. That one a chopper right back to the circle and the 1-3 makes it one down. And actually out in right field right now is not Sierra Brown, Brian, it's Sam Show or Shao rather. So Shao playing right field. 
So it's Howe, Bruni, and Chow left to right. Eccles, Grimm, Jefferson, Klingler third to first. Jake was behind the plate. And DeVeo with one down against Ali Aguilar. Aguilar, a two-run blast over the right field fence in the first. Right field four, the smoke. Samantha Chow. And then Aguilar in the second. Line drive out the left field. A great grab by Morgan Howe. Is that pitch off the plate? 2-0 and now to Ali Aguilar. Who is it? That one. Nice grab at second base, but not in time. Oh, they got her. Oh, my goodness. That could be the play of the game. Jefferson to Klingler. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Goodness gracious. Wow. And I'm sorry, I apologize. That's actually Alyssa Rivera out in right field, number 21. Correction. And now coming in, we get a pitching change after that great 4-3. I think this is Pease. Yep. Autumn Pease, number 36. Austin Pease. So Autumn Pease in the pitch. Autumn Pease. So DeFeo did a great job coming in. She threw two and two-thirds innings. She gave up no hits, no runs. She had one walk and no strikeouts. So a beautiful outing following Sinceri. Sinceri had two innings pitched. She gave up four now, hits. 11, she gave up two runs, both earned. One walk and one strikeout. And so now Autumn Pease into the circle with two down, nobody on here in the fifth. First pitch in there to Abby Cheek, strike one. Cheek had a base hit in the first and then flied out the center in the third, so she is one for two. Autumn Pease, the 2023 Big 12 Pitcher of the Year, or Big 10, rather, Pitcher of the Year. Second team All-American. First team All-Big 10 out of University of Minnesota. She hails from Marietta, California. Autumn was the 10th pick in the 2023 draft in round three. As she has cheek down 0-1. Pitch in there, called strike. So quickly ahead of Abby Cheek, 0-2. Oh, they call 1-1. One one. Okay, my apologies. I thought that first pitch was a strike. So 1-1. One one. That's why the umpire's there. Just to correct us, you know. It's his game, not ours. That one fouled off on the right side. 1-2. and two. Full house here at Concordia. It is an awesome atmosphere to start. Texas Smoke Softball. <laughs> two down, nobody on. Looking for their second consecutive one, two, three inning on the smoke. Was that one outside? A little waste pitch there, two and two. Speed strike three. So the second consecutive one, two, three inning for the smoke. No runs, hits, airs, nobody left. And the four and a half, two to one. Pride over the smoke on WPF TV.
back here for Texas Smoke Softball. It'll be 8-9-1 for the Smoke as they try to notch another run on the scoreboard and at least tie if maybe not go ahead. Here in the bottom of the fifth, it'll be 8-9-1 due up. And Rivera is on deck, so the right field replacement for Brian will come to the plate. Followed by Anne-Marie Bruni, and then top of the order. And in the circle remains, well, let's check it. Right fielder number 21, Alisa Vigena. So we do have a new pitcher in the circle. It'll be 41, Taryn Alvelo. So the new pitcher, Taryn Alvelo, comes in. And that one, a base hit the left field. Rivera is one for one. Second consecutive inning where the smoke have a base hit. Hit number four. So that'll bring up Bruni, who herself has a base hit. Had a nine pitch at bat in the third before getting a single. Puts the butt down, third baseman in, and that ball hits the runner. So she's gonna be out. It'll be a sacrifice. That'll put Rivera at second now with the tying run. And one down to the top of the order, Janae Jefferson. Batting four. Smoke number two, Janae Jefferson. So Rivera with a base hit to left on the first pitch she saw, a sacrifice. Runner out on the throw. So in two pitches, the Smoke have a runner at second and one down and tying run. Is that one to the right side and it'll be a three unassisted. And Rivera to second base with two down. So Savannah Jaquish to the plate. Savannah Jaquish. Jaquish has popped out twice to the second baseman. Lost that one to right field and grabbed by Kayla Kowalik. So a five pitch inning in which the smoke had a runner at tying, or the no tying run at second hit, base. No errors, so no runs, runs, one hit, no one errors, five. and one left on. End of five complete, two to one, pride over the smoke here on WPF TV. Dad, I wanna be a professional baseball player when I grow up. Dad, I wanna be a professional softball player when I grow up. I'm a professional baseball player now. What about my dream? As we come here, top of the sixth inning, it's a 2-1 ball game. What a way to start. Your franchise here in Texas, the Texas Smoke. And it'll, it'll be Autumn Pease starting her first full inning of relief. It was starter Shelby Sinceri going two, gave up four runs, or two runs on four hits. One walk, one strikeout, and 35 pitches. DeFeo came in, was blistering. 2.2 innings, no hits, no runs. One walk, no strikeouts on 31 pitches. And now Pease will face Four, five, six as Jordan Rudd to the plate. Rudd 0 for 1, walked in the first, flight out the left on another web gem by Morgan Howe. Looks at strike one.
Very deliberate motion out in the circle by Pease, who is the 10th overall pick in the 2023 WPF draft. Taken in round three by the smoke. That one high, inside, two and one. Defense for the smoke, Howard left. Bruni in center, Rivera in right, Eccles at third, Grimm at short, Jefferson at second, Klingler at first. Jake was behind the plate, and the third pitcher in the circle. With a pitch that's high, now three and one. That one ripped to the shortstop. Grim over to Klingler, and the 6-3 makes it one down. Gonna bring up Delaney Spaulding, who's 0-for-1. Flight out the left in the first, walked in the third. Next up to bat number 99, Delaney Spaulding. Spalding looks at strike one. Boy, what a great job by the smoke. Gave up a infield single and a home run and have not allowed the pride to score since. Put a run up in the bottom of the fourth, making a 2-1 ball game. Nice movement on that pitch, 0-2 now. Coming up for the smoke in the bottom of the sixth. It'll be 3-4-5, hard of the order. Got to get there first, though. Spalding looks at down low ball. One and two. Eight batters retired in a row by DeFeo leading that charge. And now, Pease in relief of her. One, two pitch to the third baseman. Nice scoop by Eccles. Oh, my goodness. And the 5-3 makes it two down. We're seeing some slick fielding here. Two down, nobody on. Gonna bring up Sammy Fagan. And number 51, Sammy Fagan. Fagan flied out the center in the first, bounced out 5-3 in the third. That one, right to Jefferson and the flip, and it's another one, two, three inning. Third in a row for the defense. Now they need the O to come alive and at least tie this game as they got one, two, three in the six. No runs, hits, errors, nobody left. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Two, one pride here on WPF TV. Jake Sam, our director, Meg Seidel and graphics replays, commercials, Tim Shapey, Charlie Kramsky, Brian Hangeman, Evan Crowley, Chandler Sorensen, and Eric Eng, your great crew here, bringing you the broadcast here. What a great game it is. As we go bottom six, three, four, five, and Smoke trying to get on the board here. Again, as they trail two to one, strike one to Bailey Klingler. All Klingler's done is go two for two. Single in the first for the first ever hit in smoke history. Then a single run scored, scoring the first run of the club franchise history. In the fourth, 
One and one right now to her. How? And Eccles do up behind her as the smoke try to put another crooked number, and that's not going to do it. Out to center field, and Wadle with the catch one down. Albalo in the circle for her second inning of relief of starter Trout. Hope oh, Troutwine. Next up to bat for the Texas Smoke, number 47, Morgan Howe. Howe has had some great D today. Reached on an E4 that sparked that run in the fourth inning. Officially 0 for 2. She also popped out the second base in the first. Ball one. one oh pitch outside. 2-0 oh to the cleanup hitter for the Smoke. Don't forget, we'll have game two of the series tomorrow. Game three coming up on Saturday. Then we get Sunday off, and we'll be back here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Ospeed misses down low on the carpet, 3-0. All turf field here at Concordia University in North Austin, except for the pitching circle, which is dirt. So you got the faux dirt around the infield, and then you have the real dirt inside the circle. Here's a 3-0, taken all the way, 3-1 by Morgan Howe. Gooden, Wadle, Koala in the outfield. Pendley, Spalding, Aguilar, Fagan third to first, run behind the plate, and that pitch, ball four. First walk given up by Pride Pitching. So Charla Eccles, who had the sacrifice fly that brought in the first run of Smoke history. Maybe she'll put one over the fence and drive in two more. She takes strike one, does Eccles. Pop out the first base in the second and then the sack fly to center that scored Klingler with the smoke run in the fourth inning. That one high. One and one to Charla Eccles. Matty Grimm on deck. In there called strike two. Nice change of pace there by Albello. Albello. One two pitch outside, two and two. Morgan Howe at first, ready to come all the way around. Just one down here in the sixth. That one. First baseman off for Glove and in the right field. That's going to be an E3. Second error for the Pride. Everybody's safe. How the second echoes the first. Next up to bat for the Texas Smoke, number 30, Madison Grimm. Here comes the Smoke shortstop, Maddie Grimm. Maddie struck out swinging in the second. Sacrifice went 1 3 in the fourth, officially 0 for 1. Oh, and 1 here to Maddie Grimm. It's high, one and one. High, two and one now to Maddie Grimm. I'll give you a hand here. Had to park right in front. Two one offering. Driven down the deep left field foul territory. Uh, 
And unfortunately, a player down on the field. That one out of my view, I apologize. I have no idea what happened there. It looks like the umpire got hit by the player going to catch the ball. So we have an injury that will tend to. Hope the umpire is okay. And gets a nice round of applause here. So they're putting the second out on the board, so I'm assuming that the catch was made and the runner's tagged up. So we'll call that foul out to seven. And then Howell over to third. And Eccles at second now. And we have a new pitcher in the circle. like it's number 32 and unfortunately we don't have a number 32 on our roster so pitching change in the circle and our apologies we don't have a 32 on the roster given it to us Nor on the online lineup. We'll double check that real quick. Sam Shaw with runners at second and third. A chance to put her team on the scoreboard. Squares the button, takes strike one. Oh, and one to Shaw. It's Morgan Howe at third. Charla Eccles at second. Two down as that pitch off the plate, one and one. Swing and a miss there, one and two now to Sam Shaw. And swing and a miss. Strikeout catch by the catcher. So they threatened, but no runs on no hits. There was an error and a walk, two left on. As we go to the top of the seventh, Smoke have left six runners on as they trail it two to one here on WPF TV. Crew, Jake Sam and Meg Seidel, Tim Shapey, Charlie Kramsky, Brian Hageman, Evan Crowley, Chandler Sorensen, Eric Ang, getting ready to finish their first ever smoke game as we go top of the seventh now. Yeah. 
Now batting seven, eight, nine. Two, Shelby Penley. And first pitch, ball one to Shelby Penley. Penley 0 for 2, struck out in the first. Flight out to center in the fourth. As Autumn Pease remains in the circle, beginning her second full inning of relief. Third pitcher for the smoke here tonight. That pitch inside, 2 0 now. And so the Pride scored two runs in the first two batters of the game and have not scored since. Smoke scored one in the fourth, threatened in the sixth, but they weren't able to cash in. They'll try it again in the bottom of the seventh. Off speed high. And now 3-0. and Don't want to put the leadoff runner on here in the seventh. Coming up for the smoke in the bottom of the seventh. If you're looking ahead, 8-9-1 due up. Three and zero, oh. and they're called strike. Three and one. The Penley defense remains the same now. How Bruni and Rivera left to right. Eccles, Grimm, Jefferson, Klingler third to first. Jake was behind the plate, and the third pitcher Autumn Pease with a three-one pitch, and they're called strike at the knees. Three and two. Pease, 15 pitches through an inning of third, has retired all four batters she has faced, including a strikeout. 3-2 pitch, fouled off behind home plate. That one slap foul. Shot from the center field camera. See the score in the bottom right corner. Sweet of a strike three, second strikeout. For Autumn Pease, one down. That's her first strikeout swinging. Yeah. Kayla Wadel. Wadel to the plate, has popped out twice. Flight out the left in the second, flight out the right in the four. 0 for 2. And puts the butt down, Jankwish out. Oh, and throws it down the first base side, nobody there. I believe that was Jefferson that was supposed to cover, but she didn't get there in time. So that would be a butt base hit, the first hit for the, for the uh, Pride since the second inning. They now have five hits. And that is their first base runner since the third inning. That is a string of 11 in a row retired by Smoke Pitching. Broken with that bunt base hit. And it looks like we have a pinch hitter, we do. Cassidy Shomo in the pinch hit. Number 27, Shomo will come up for Kelly Gooden. Now batting for the Pride, number 27, Cassidy Shomo. So the pinch hitter out with the runner first and one down. The pitch in there, call strike one, 0 and 1. Right down Broadway. Nice little movement on that fastball, 0-1. Oh oh, one pitch, swing and a miss, 0-2. Oh
Pitchers count here, 0-2 with a runner first and one down here in the top of the seventh. Spoke trying to keep him off the board and come up and tie it at least in the bottom half. Ooh, and that one outside. Trying to make her bite. And Shomo said, no way, thank you very much. One and two now to Shomo. Back to that center field camera where you can see movement on the pitch. Foul off on the screen. Count one and two. Boy, I'll tell you what, nobody has left. Everybody out there having a good time and watching a great ball game. Two to one the score. Two runs, five hits, two errors for the Pride. One four zero oh, line score for the Smoke. One and two to Shomo. Got her on the off speed. Great strikeout. Second of the inning, third for Pease. Two down. Back to top of the order, and Kayla Kowalik. Now batting number 15, Kayla Kowalik. Kowalik has been on base twice. Infield single in the first, came around the score on the Ali Aguilar home run, doubled and stranded at second in the second. And then bounced out one three in the fifth, so she is two for three. As we get a little conversation inside the circle. Happy to have you here on the broadcast. We'll be back again tomorrow, same start time. Then Saturday, as the two teams finish off the three-game series here. Off on Sunday. Gonna get a little, go get a little pasta. Right, yeah, of course, Sunday's Grandma's Day. Pop over to Grandma's and have family pasta. And then back Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for Smoke Softball. It's high ball one. Of course, if you're in the Austin area, you got plenty of choices for barbecue. Oh my goodness. Plenty of choices for excellent barbecue here in the Austin, Texas area. 1 0 to lead off hitter Qualic. Two for three. That pitch. Empire not buying that. 2 0. Excellent relief pitching so far by Pease. Who took over for DeFeo, who went two and two thirds scoreless. Only gave up a walk and that was it. That was the only indentation in her scorebook. Now the 2-0. Off speed and that one chopped back to the circle and got her. Great play by Pease over to Klingler. And we go to the bottom of the seventh. It will be 8-9-1 for the Smoke as they will try to tie and possibly win it in the bottom of the seventh. They trail it 2-1 here on WPF TV. One thing that I always look for is the grip and how good it is. Another thing too is how big the sweet spot is. Just knowing like even if I do get jammed, if I have a big enough sweet spot, I could still possibly get away with something. The mantra sweet spot will give people that extra oomph that they need in the ball. Nothing sounds better than a mantra when you make solid contact with it. You just hear the Chance to tie it here in the bottom of the seventh. It'll be 8-9-1, Rivera, Rooney, in top of the order against the relief pitcher, Avalo. Rivera, one for one, slapped a single to left on the first pitch she saw back in the fifth inning. Swing and a miss there. Count one and one. 
I missed it too. 1-1 one, one pitch. Ospeed bounced on the carpet, two and one. Two runs on two hits in the top of the first for the Pride. That's all they've done. 2-5-2 two, two the line score for the Pride. Smoke with a run on four hits, scored the run in the four. Try to add here, is that one slap foul, wow. Oh, that was a nice 90, 100 mile an hour swing there. Count now two and two. Two, two, chop foul. Kind of holding a two and two. Center fielder Anna Marie Bruni on deck. She is one for one. Kind of single on the sacrifice. As the smoke try for the first ever seventh inning comeback. That one chopped the third, crossed the first. And Penley over to Fagan on the 5-3, one down. She took her to six pitches. Here's Anna Marie Bruni. See the shot down the first baseline there. Bruni coming in from the left side, the left side batter's box now. Squares the bunt, takes inside strike one. Wow. Looks like a good pitch to bunt, but not connecting there, 0-1. Oh, Takes it, 0-2 oh, quickly. Squares the bunt, takes outside, one and two. One, two, slap to the third baseman. And again, the five, three makes it two down. So down to their last out are the smoke. As they have done a tremendous job. Some excellent pitching, some excellent defense, but they trail two to one. As it'll be Janae Jefferson. She is 0 for three, flied out the left twice and bounced out three unassisted. UT product trying to get something going here with two down, takes strike one. Wow, that one a little bit high, but we're up here, not down there, so. Home plate umpire knows best. At least that's what we're going with. Here's the 0-1, high, called 1-1. Fans excited for some action here. 1-1. One, one. Ooh, on the outside corner, one and two. So now down to their last strike on the smoke. And Savannah Jaquish hoping to get up here. Awaits on deck. One, two pitch. Slap foul on the third base side. Full house here. Excellent night of opening softball in franchise history for the Texas smoke. And Looking for a little two-out magic here. One-two pitch. That one rolled in two and two. Rolled on the carpet there. <clears throat> Here's a two-two with two down. That one slot, that's a base hit! In the left center field. Jefferson keeps it alive. Going the other way, her first hit. Hit number five for the smoke. And that'll bring up Jake Wish. She has hit three fly balls to the second baseman and one out the deep right field. Jake Wish steps in for the right side. Off the plate, ball one. Coming out 
right side. 2-0. Each team with five hits. Spoke trying to do something here with the two-out single by Janae. That one on the corner outside, two and one. That one slapped foul, two and two. JB, check your uh, stat, uh, text there, bud. Two and two. Off the plates, a full count now. Three and two. Popped in the air, and it will be out of play. So living to see another pitch as it will be pitch number seven. Of the abat is Jake Wish. And Jake Wish gets a talk by Tori Tyson. The two-out rally continues. First and second, Bailey Klinger, who herself is two for three to the plate. Ball one. That one outside. And timeout here. So 2 and 0 oh to Klingler. With two out, Janae Jefferson lofted a base hit the left center field. Savannah Jaquish on a 3 2 pitch walked. Tying run at second base in scoring position, winning run at first. And now head coach Kelly Kretschmann out to talk to her defense. What a ball game to open up the Texas Smoke franchise here at Concordia University. Tori Tyson, the head coach, out to talk to Jefferson at second base. Tyson, the third base coach for the Smoke. 2-0. And that one off the plate, 3-0. Oh. 3-0. Oh. In there, oh, ball four. Bases loaded, winning run is at second base now. Jefferson to third. Jake Wish to second. Klingler to first. Two down. And the cleanup hitter, Morgan Howe, reached on an E4 and a walk, has a stolen base. No, I'm, actually, I'm sorry, that was Brown there with the steal. Does that pitch out the plate? Ball one. Eccles on deck. 1 0. Outside 2 0. Two balls away from tying this game. And you can see a little frustration on the pride 
infield as they had two outs and nobody on. Now they got the bases loaded and two outs. How? Looks at strike one, two and one on the outside corner to the lefty. How popped out the second in the first, reached on an E4, replaced on the bases by Brown, and then walked in the sixth. 2 1. Slap! That's a base hit! Coming around! The crowd runner Jacklish! She will score! And the first ever come from behind win for the smoke is in the books! They win it over the pride! 3 to 2! Morgan Howe did it on defense and does it with the bat. Oh my goodness, what a way to start out the franchise. We're gonna take a break and when we come back, we'll wrap it up, we'll recap it. It's a three to two smoke win over the pride here on WPF TV. Morgan Howe with the walk off single to left to drive in two. For a 3-2 Texas Smoke win. And they're having a PF We are back, and ladies and gentlemen, you want to see history made? There it is. The replay of the game-winning hit, a two-run single by Morgan Howe to win it for the smoke as they smoke the pride three to two. Oh my goodness, what a game. Morgan Howe does it defensively, and then in the bottom of the seventh with two outs and bases loaded, slices one down the line. There will be autographs. Oh, my goodness. All right, so we will be here tomorrow when the 1-0 Texas Smoke take on the USSSA Pride. And we definitely want to thank our great production crew here. Jake Sam, the director. Eric Ang, executive producer. Meg Seidel, the graphics, replays, and commercials. Tim Shapey, the live stream score and graphics. Charlie Kramsky, broadcast audio. Ryan Hageman, camera operator, producer and senior videographer, Evan Crowley, and camera operator, Chandler Sorensen, and everybody here that made this a fantastic outing. And the smoke made it even better with that come from behind, bottom of the seventh, nobody on, two outs, single walk, walk, and walk off hit by Morgan Howe. We'll name her our player of the game as she had two great defensive plays and then comes up with the two-run single that wins it three to two. So for everybody here with the Texas Smoke production, I am Chuck Licata as we say goodnight and bid you adieu from the beautiful Texas Smoke Field here in North Austin, Texas.